guys. Okay, so oh my gosh, Daniel's computer is going crazy behind me. It's such a gloomy day um, in LA, so I'm trying to stand by the window to make my lighting look better. But I also, hey Tammy, hey Thomas, hey everybody. Um, I brought this like light over here, but I feel like it's too much and I haven't put any powder on, so it might be a little too much. Um, today we are talking about health and fitness. So I'm really excited to get chatting with you guys about that. Some of you sent uh, me DMs about questions that you might have when it comes to health and fitness. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Joshua. Hey, I'm trying to read some of these names. Emily and Janice or Janice or Janie. Janie. Um, Julia and everyone else. Um, okay, and Taylor. So, oh, hi from Brazil. Hello from the East Coast. I'm going to be sharing a few health and fitness things. I am on a cleanse, and I got to be honest, it's not easy because I think I have, like, a relationship with food. Like, I love food so much. It's like, besides Daniel, my bestie, why is my eye red? Gosh, I was hoping no one would notice, but it's hard not to notice. Um, I have to have surgery on my eye. So, like, in all my photos, I try to Photoshop it or just use, like, lots of eye drops um, because I have sun damage from not wearing sunglasses as a kid. It's kind of random. Anywho, um, I am doing a cleanse, and it's a 21-day cleanse where you have a shake in the morning and a shake at night and then you have a meal for dinner or for I'm sorry for lunch and it's really hard because you don't have like any processed sugar you obviously you're eating really clean and really healthy but it's um a wave what is this like wave thing um th these are all like I haven't done live in a while oh my god Daniel's phone and his computer and everything are just going off like crazy um Ooh, I have requests to, like, do a live together with people. This is interesting. I've never done that before. Okay, so let's get to the point. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to turn this phone off. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, so some of the health and fitness questions that you guys sent over were, like, what do I, one of the ones was, what do I eat for breakfast? So normally what I eat for breakfast is I love oatmeal. I get a lot of oatmeal recipes mm -hmm. from Tone It Up. They have great recipes. I also love eggs, and I don't know if it's me being, like, Mexican or something, but I love to do, like, an egg taco, if that makes sense. So I'll have some, like, ground turkey meat, and I'll, th I'll have egg whites, and then I put some goat cheese in there and some veggies and kind of grill it all up, and then, like, roast, not roast, like, I put the tortilla on the, like, fire stove, and um, make like breakfast tacos and it's so good. So that's what I normally eat. But when it comes to the cleanse, I do shakes and I do all different kinds of like fruit and veggie shakes. I have lots of kale in them. They actually have a lot of recipes. It's called Clean Program. So they have a lot of recipes and I'm trying out new recipes every single day. Um, a lot of their raspberry and blueberry recipes are my favorite ones. Um, working out and watching you makes my workout easier. I need to do some workout videos, speaking of that, because I, I do work out all the time, and I feel like I need to share some of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to that. So does anybody else do breakfast tacos? Anybody, anybody? Um, so can I say something in German? Um, ich liebe dich. Auf Wiedersehen. Guten Nacht. Um, I speak a little bit of English. Uh, German. Obviously, I'm a little out of it today. So when you first do a cleanse, if any of you have ever done a cleanse before, it can, you can essentially have like withdrawals from the stuff that you're used to having. A lot of people have coffee in the morning, have lots of caffeine, sugar, alcohol, you know, hopefully in the evenings. And you can have withdrawals from not having that in your diet. So it's, I definitely have woken up with like a light headache the past two days. And it's something that I know is from not having caffeine and not having sugar. So it'll go away in a few days, I'm sure. I just have to stick to it and my body will start being used to being healthier. Um, what is my favorite country's food? Um, 
I would have to say Mexico. I love tacos. Uh, Victorious, thank you for saying uh, about my Chai Tea Tuesday videos. They're coming back next week. My birthday month, as I mentioned in my Instagram post, if you guys have seen it, was just an off month. Lots of pizza, lots of cake, lots of all of that, like, badness, but goodness, if you know what I'm saying. And I totally also did not do any Chai Tea Tuesday videos, so they'll be coming back next week. I'm trying to remember what other health and fitness questions you guys had. Oh, someone asked if I fluctuate when it comes to my weight at all. And I absolutely do. I don't know what people consider like a crazy fluctuation. I think just as women, we fluctuate two to four pounds like a day. Sometimes I'll wake up at one number and be three or four pounds heavier by the evening. So I definitely fluctuate with my weight, but something that when I don't want to do that that helps me is just detox water um, eating really clean and healthy and I can stay pretty consistent throughout the day do I speak Spanish uh, poquito, pequeño. Um, what about technology I might have to rephrase that question um, how do I prep for swimsuit that's a great question for all the girls that are competing in pageants I would say besides this 21 day cleanse this is the longest time right now that I've been dedicated to kind of my health and my fitness besides when I was prepping for Miss USA. When I was prepping for Miss USA, I was eating multiple meals a day, all super clean and lean meals, and I would be in the gym two times a day, every day. I would be drinking a gallon of water a day, every single day. So preparing for Miss USA was the time that I was most dedicated to my health and fitness, and it obviously paid off because, not because I won, but because it was the best shape I've been in in my entire life. Um, so I'm not a fitness trainer, no, but I've definitely learned a lot over the years when it comes to health and fitness. I feel like there's a few other good questions. How many times a week do I work out? When I'm in my like best good routine where I feel most confident, I'm working out at least five days a week. I like to wake up, wake up and just get a morning workout in. Um, this last week and like even month, I haven't been working out as much. I would say maybe three to four days a week. And you just have to really know your body because some people's bodies are great when it comes to working out two days a week or three days a week. But I feel best when I'm working out three to four days a week. Do I like partying? That was the question. Not really quite on topic with the health and fitness, but um, yeah, my hubby and I like to go out and party every once in a while. Um, hey, 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 hey. JW Cortez, it's been forever. Um, I was just thinking about New York recently. Um, let's see, if you do two a days, what are the best times to go work out? So when I do two a days, I wake up and I work out first thing in the morning. I do like fasted cardio and fasted even weights. And then I'll continue, I'll eat right after, and then I'll continue to drink lots of water, eat healthy throughout the day. And then, um, Oh, thanks, baby. My husband's on here. Everybody say hi to Daniel. And then I usually work out like in the evening before my last meal. So I would work out around 5 or 6 and then have my last meal around 7 p.m. Um, yeah, and yeah, people are laughing at you, Daniel. Uh, he's literally in the other room working and commenting right now. So, yeah. Um, any other health and fitness questions? I just wanted to come on here and share with you. Um, oh. Raquel, good question. The name of the cleanse that I'm doing is clean, just the word clean. But if you want to look it up on Instagram or go to their website, it's clean program. So you can find them at clean program. But yeah, so with that cleanse, they give you everything. I love how supportive they are. You get a phone call when you start off. If you have any questions, they give you an entire shopping list and you don't have to buy everything on the list. You just buy what works for you. Um, when are you and Daniel going to have beautiful babies? We are going to have babies in a few years. Not yet. Um, I love you, boo-boo. How much water do I recommend to drink every day? Great, great question. So they say that you should drink, like, say you weigh 100 pounds. You need to drink half your body weight in ounces of water a day, like, number-wise. So if you weigh 100 pounds, which I definitely don't, um, you should drink 50 pounds or 50 ounces of water, um, and, and so on and so forth. So you 120, you should be drinking 60 ounces of water. If you want to really, if like you're working out a lot and you're constantly being active, I say no less than a gallon of water a day. Um, I'm just constantly drinking water. Like it's my job, like I'm getting paid for it. 
Um, I love that you guys are asking so many great questions, especially Victoria and Julia. Um, let's see. I enjoy going out and having dinner and a drink. What kind of drinks uh, are less calories? Oh my gosh, Daniel, if you're still on, you should totally answer that. Daniel has his favorite like low calorie drinks that he um, that he always recommends people to drink, but when you're going out and having dinner and a drink, I just always look for like the lightest option or um, say like vodka, vodka, soda, water, and lime, like super boring, but super low calorie, definitely. What are healthy lunch ideas? Great question, Jamie. Um, great question because besides shakes in morning and night, lunch is all that I'm really um, having right now as far as like food that you chew. So I love like Mexican options because you can do like rice and you can do lettuce and maybe pico de gallo and some chicken or whatever kind of protein you want and it's just lean and healthy and good for you. Um, yeah, but let's see. Anybody else? Greetings from Prue. What's your favorite booty exercise? Oh my gosh, Daniel, you're killing me. Um, okay, any other health and fitness questions before I get off? I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys, say hi, share with you what I'm doing um, when it comes to health and fitness, which is the clean program. I already mentioned that a few times, but I had a friend that was doing it because she had something really big coming up and she wanted to look good and feel good from the inside out and it inspired me. So I literally reached out to them and was like, okay, I want to work with you guys. What can we do? And I'm also doing giveaways every single day this, or not every single day, every single week this month. And so they may or may not be one of my giveaways. Obviously, they're going to be one of my giveaways. So if you want to be entered in my giveaways that I'm doing every single week this month, make sure you have post notifications on so that you can be the first to comment because it's going to be like the first 50 comments or the first... Everybody that comments in the first 30 minutes is included in the giveaway, so you have to be able to comment quick. Um, what's your favorite type of workout? Weights, yoga, indoor, outdoor, all of that. Good question. So when it comes to working out for me, I really enjoy um, like giving a variety of workouts. So I did Runyon Canyon the other day. I went to the gym today, and I did mostly cardio and a little bit of weights. I think I'm going to go to the yoga tomorrow. I love hot yoga or even go back tonight. Um is cutting weight the hardest thing about being a model? Um, I wish I could say I was like a model full time, although I do model. I think when you do model full time, it's just about maintaining a healthy um, body weight for you and staying in whatever that is instead of like always trying to cut weight for a competition or all of that. After the cleanse, can you share with us what you thought about it and um, if it's worth it? Absolutely. Good question, Mariella. I am going to share with you guys after the cleanse how I felt about it. Um, I'm not getting paid for like doing this or anything, so I can be 100,000% honest with you guys. But I'm really looking forward to it. I know that cleanses are good for you um, to just really reset your body. And for me, it's going to be where I'm gonna start like just healthier habits in general. So I will absolutely share with you guys and I'll keep you guys updated on Insta stories every few days. I'll kind of check in and share with you on how I'm feeling and what I'm doing. Right now, like I mentioned, I do have kind of like headaches when I first wake up in the morning. And a lot of that is from not having as much sugar in my diet as I normally do, because to be honest, I honestly have a lot of sugar. Um, oh, good question, Tess Bess about um, she also asked my favorite stomach workout, but what's a good time to cut um, off eating in the evening? So it's called, oh gosh, I'm going to say it wrong, intermittent, inter something fasting. And that's literally just giving your body time to fully process everything you've put into it so it can fully digest. And if you don't give enough of a big window from when you stop eating to when you start eating the next time, then your body wouldn't have time to fully process everything you put into it. So they say at least a 12 hour window. So if you have your last meal at 7 p.m., don't eat again until um, 7 a.m. I try to do like a 14 hour window, maybe 15 sometimes. So I'll have my last meal at 7 p.m., be in bed around 10, 10, 30, and then I'll wake up, go work out, and then have a meal after that. Um, oh, thank you. I've actually gotten the sweetest compliments about my skin lately, and um, I've 
I think not having as much dairy has helped. Tons of water has helped. And I actually do. I'll share with you guys on Insta Story later today two products that have really made a big difference in my skin. Um, I, Cami, I love your question. And I'm, if you DM me, I will DM you back. Or um, I also have some YouTube videos that I want to make that will answer that question. Hey, Jillian. Oh, my gosh. Jillian Wittes. Wittes? I don't, I don't think I ever said your name right growing up. Um, she was like my childhood friend and she's on here. Um, for college students, what would be an affordable cleanse to do? I would say Google like cleanse options that you can do at home instead of like buying a product. Um, if products are too expensive for you to do a cleanse with, and it might just be like making your own juice for breakfast and dinner or, you know, buying protein powder and doing a protein shake and then just having a meal, whatever that is. Um, let's see. Poor Daniel. I said... Um, share your cleanse with Dan. Oh my gosh, Daniel's killing me. And poor Daniel, he's getting ignored. Um, I swear I'm not ignoring you. I love you, boo boo. Um, I originally told Daniel, I was like, yeah, my 21 day cleanse, we can totally split it half and half. And once I got it, I got really excited to like fully cleanse my body of like everything. And then I was like, no, I think I want to do it all by myself. <laughs> so, but I bought him like the, um, the protein powder from them. I bought him like probiotics, which part of the cleanse is having probiotics in the morning and vitamins. So I'm trying to like make up for it, but obviously he ain't happy enough with that. <laughs> um, any other health and fitness questions from you guys? Um, I love, um, flawless Lexus. I love that you have notifications on good because I have some giveaways coming up soon. And if you want to be a part of the giveaways, then you have to be first to comment. Um, if you have a headache because you lack water, eight glass day will make it work. Oh, thank you so much. I don't have a headache because I, la I lack water. That's for sure because I am drinking like over a gallon of water a day. Um, I think it's just me detoxing all the stuff that my body is used to having. Um, any other questions? I love you guys so much. I may be hopping off soon. Got some phone calls and emails to do. I also secretly want to get a massage today, but I don't know if there's time in the schedule for that. Um, how does Daniel always get so ripped and jacked? Um, <laughs> oh, and hey, Ronnie. So Daniel always gets ripped and jacked. He jokes. He's like, it's the elliptical. Everything is all about the elliptical. Um, he works out hard in the elliptical, but also does weights and body weight. He's freaking cracking me up right now. Um, but hey, Ronnie. Ronnie James Hughes is an amazing um, jiu-jitsu instructor that lives in the Cayman Islands, which is like the oh, best place to have a job ever. Um, what is your favorite perfume brand? I love Very Sexy by Victoria's Secret. All right, guys. I think we're kind of winding down a little bit when it comes to the health and fitness questions. I answered most of the ones from the DMs as well, and then share with you a little bit about the cleanse that I'm doing. I'm super excited. It's easy to travel with too, because it has like a little packet, so I can just grab the packets and grab high resistance elliptical. Don't, <laughs> don't point me out. Yes, he works very hard on the elliptical. Um, but yeah, I'm traveling soon, so I can grab little packets of vitamins and packets of my shakes and just take it to go. So it's super, super easy when it comes to the clean program cleanse. So one more time, my cleanse is called the clean program, just clean program. If you look at them on Instagram or their website, I'm excited to be doing it. They're not paying me for this. I just wanted to share it with you because I'm super pumped and I can't wait to like feel good on the inside out. Um, do I like kickboxing? I've done it once or twice before. It's fun. Thank you. Would you like to host Miss Teen USA? Yes. Just let MUO know you want me to host and I will be there. Um, love that you and your husband love God and have a spiritual side. Thank you. Hello from New York. Would love to meet you one day. Oh, also, so I'm doing some fun events coming up soon. I'm doing a women's self-defense class here in LA. So if you're not signed up for that yet, the link is in my bio. And then also going to be transferring that all the way over to New York City. So if you want to take women's self-defense classes, I will have some in New York City as well as luncheon events. It's like I got a lot going on, but it's all great stuff. So keep an eye out on my social media for all of that. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in on this live and I will talk to you later. Bye.